LaMelo Ball, throw it to him. Can he knock it down? He does! LaMelo Ball is smoking hot right now. I couldn't think of what to say. He is on fire. We have our own little run going, looking to expand this newly found lead. LaMelo Ball, he gets the tough layup. LaMelo Ball cannot be stopped right now. Kick it back. Cedric from way downtown. It's good. Cedric Lewis from near the logo with the three to give the Hornets a six-point lead. Not opposed to it. LaMelo Ball, tough shot over Jalen Brown. He has been unstoppable. 36 in the game. Going to set a pick and roll with Clint Capella. Kick it out to Kobe White. Only two seconds left on the shot clock. Fantastic defense by LaMelo Ball. That right there might have just clinched the win for the Hornets. LaMelo cutting 49 for Ball. Up 14 points. That's my goal. Get LaMelo Ball 50 points. And LaMelo 51. Capping off a historic night. With a huge win here in Chicago on the road to take a 2-1 series lead. Jalen Brown, I don't care if you knock that down. This game's over. Alright, so last episode, we took a disappointing loss in game two of this first round to the Bulls. Losing by eight. We were in this game all the way past the first quarter. We went down by 16 in the first quarter. Ended up going down, I think, 18 at one point and it was just it was technically uphill from there but we ended up losing by uh eight points and we were within two at one point and just it wasn't enough cedric lewis 43 was not enough i did have a seven turnover game but that doesn't excuse the fact of our third leading scorer had nine points and it was josh richardson larry marketing needs to step up lamella ball needs to step up i am so sick of playing with this dude if we don't make it, if we don't make the finals this year, I'm requesting a trade. I can't play with Lamelo Ball. And if this were realistic, they're gonna pick Lamelo Ball over me, even though I'm the better player. Lamelo's been there long enough. I mean, longer, so they'd pick Lamelo Ball. Lamelo also has a max contract, so I mean, uh, Aiton showed up in this game, but once again, was not enough. Jalen Brown dropped 33 on my head. Uh, a lot of those were in the paint because I just could not, I could not guard. I'm not a good paint defender. So if my um, matchup can get in the paint, it's almost a guaranteed bucket for them. Uh, Patrick Williams gave him 15. Uh, Lonzo Ball gave him 13, but he also gave him five steals. Uh, and Banton gave him 12 points off the bench, which, which was killer for them. They just had more contribution. We had two double-digit scorers. They had five. Simple as that. Now, stats in Center G2K. We did not get the win. I am not checking that off. There are all the stats we're going to accept. And we, yep, there it is. 43 points, 52% from the field, 45 from three. Heading into game three in a tied up series. Hopefully, we can get a win on the road. Because if we can go down 2-1, that ain't going to be good. All right. Series shifts over to Chicago for games two, three and four. Series split at one apiece. Already a big surprise in itself. I, I thought this would be an easy sweep, not going to lie. But the Bulls came out in game two with purpose, with a passion, and they ended up beating us, getting the best of us, coming out of the gates way more engaged than the Hornets. And they got the win, and they tied this series up, giving them a fighter's chance. Now, the series is basically 0-0 now, if you think about it. So, we need to get this win, I feel like. Because if we go down 2-1, I like our confidence to obviously still win the series. But, it's going to be a lot harder. And it starts with that right there. Interior defense on Jalen Brown. I need to be better with that. And I need to be better with my turnovers. As I started off, great on both ends. And to start this game, we got what we needed. We are getting an aggressive LaMelo ball that is making shots. Not like the old LaMelo ball who is still aggressive. But not making shots. No, this little ball, he's doing what he can do. And that's getting into the paint and scoring over smaller defenders. That is what we needed because the Lamella ball that we've had my whole career has been, oh, I'm going to set a pick for him. Let me just launch his contested three. Let me launch his fading three. It, it just doesn't work, but he's getting to his spot in the paint. It's working so far on his brother. And that is the second time he's going to get fouled. Give me that. That's a yoink. That is a yoink. I'm taking it right to the basket because I don't know where the hell DeAndre Ayton went. He went over to Narnia. 
But we are up by three points. Mobile and I have all of the Hornets points so far in this game. I've got four. Lamella has seven. I mean, the backcourt doing what everyone ex um, expected them to do when Cedric was drafted. It's just Lamella Ball hasn't really, uh, you know, worked up to that yet. Uh, Aiton set the screen. We'll see if we can get an easy two for one here. Lamella Ball throw it to him. Can he knock it down? He does. Lamella Ball is smoking hot right now. I couldn't think of what to say. He is on fire. All right, I'm getting subbed out here. We went on our own little run up by eight points. Better than being down by, what was it, 13, I think we were in the first quarter last game. We're now down by one. This Bulls team is something else. I know they're a good team, especially on paper, but we should be a lot better. We were nine games better than them in their regular season, but they never want to go away. And Jalen Brown from downtown, it's off. On the ball, weird fading three. It's way off. Marketing with the rebound, pushing the pace. Kicks it up to LaMelo. LaMelo ball being a little aggressive here, but has to stop. Clint Capella lurking in the paint. I have had a bad game so far, and it is going to continue. Not able to knock down anything. Cedric Lewis struggling. Lonzo Ball, I really thought he just pulled that. He's going to pull Richardson out to the perimeter. That is a good contest from Cedric. Fast break here. Um, lost the... Oh, my God. What a dunk. I almost lost the handle there. But Cedric Lewis throws him down. He's got 10 points. Lamelo Ball has 16 points so far in this game. We have combined for 28 out of the 34 points for the Hornets. Absolutely insane. We are not getting anyone else to contribute so far. And who, whoever number 11 is, I know he's a real person because he's in this upcoming draft. I don't know how to pronounce his name and I'm, his name and I'm not going to. But this man just launches and can't hit nothing. LaMelo Ball, Clint Capella's there. It doesn't matter. LaMelo Ball over Clint Capella. He's got 18 so far in this game. All right, I'm going to sub that out here. We only have a three-point lead. So a close one here in Chicago. And the Bulls going to halftime with a four-point lead. Here's a look at the updated playoff bracket. Blazers up 2-0. Atlanta up 2-0 on Cleveland. Same with Indiana. Phoenix up 2-0. And the rest of the series are tied at one apiece. The Atlanta Hawks trying to pull a Miami Heat here. And then the Super Team Spurs going down 2-0 to KD, D-Book, Chris Paul, and the Suns. Down the court. This is the time if someone passes me the damn ball where I can knock down shots in the paint. That's contested and it's good. Cedric Lewis got to start heating up a little. Lonzo Ball and LaMelo Ball going at it right now. Both scoring leaders for their respective teams. LaMelo kick it back for three. Cedric finally knocks down his first of three attempts and brings the lead to within two. We have our own little run going, looking to expand this newly found lead. LaMelo Ball, he gets the tough layup. LaMelo Ball cannot be stopped right now. And the Hornets back up in this game, up by five. Jalen Brown almost loses footing there and gets right by the defenders for the basket. The Bulls just do not want to go away. LaMelo Ball, kick it back. Cedric from way downtown, it's good. Cedric Lewis from near the logo with the three to give the Hornets a six point lead. Mel Ball, fantastic defense. I'm open for three, it's good. The Hornets extend the lead all the way to 11. Lewis hits his third straight triple of the game and now has 31 for the game was off to a slow start and has found his groove so far switched on to kobe white kobe white good in and out loses the dribble kicks it out to austin reeves four seconds left on the shot clock austin reeves gives it up patrick williams throws up a three it's good the bulls staying in it oh cedric got subbed out eight and a half minutes left in the fourth a little break as Lamelo looks to make it an 11-point game. Bulls only down by nine. Six minutes, just under six minutes left in this game. Still a chance. Still very much a chance. We saw that Grizzlies game, the last game of the season, how we were up by, I think, 12 at one point, and they stormed all the way back and won that game. Interesting lineup 
for the Hornets here running Tyus Jones, Cedric, and LaMelo Ball all together. I am not opposed to it. LaMelo Ball, tough shot over Jalen Brown. He has been unstoppable. 36 in the game. LaMelo Ball with a master class. 41 points. Near steal there. I thought I was going to get LaMelo Ball. Does not play. He plays fantastic defense, apparently. Kobe White gets his own miss, low, Puts it right back up. Bulls still in this one. It's been working with me ball handling Gail Mello on these pick and rolls. It's been working out fantastic. Lamella Ball. Continue it. Continue it. 43 for Lamella Ball. Extends the lead to 8. And I just realized they don't even have Lonzo Ball in the game. Three minutes left. They have decided to go with Kobe White over Lonzo, who was having a really good game. Steal by the Hornets on the break. LaMelo continues to cut 45 points for LaMelo and gives the Hornets a 10-point lead. Good defense so far on Jalen Brown. He can't get nothing by me. He almost turns it over. Josh Richardson not quick enough to get to it, but tipped it. Going to set a pick and roll with Clint Capella. Kick it out to Kobe White. Only two seconds left on the shot clock. Fantastic defense by LaMelo Ball. That right there might have just clinched the win for the Hornets. LaMelo cutting 49 for Ball. Up 14 points. That's my goal. Get LaMelo Ball 50 points. And LaMelo 51. Capping off a historic night. With a huge win here in Chicago on the road to take a 2-1 series lead. Jalen Brown, I don't care if you knock that down. This game's over. And Jalen Brown just fouled out. Wow, what a way for this night to end. Brown fouls out. Lewis going to the line for his 37th and 38th points of the night. And is going to knock it down. 38 points, 8 rebounds, 20 Assist, which I believe six steals possibly before Lewis on the night. What a game from him. Lamelo with 51. That is what we expected with this duo, and we got it here tonight. And not what was a must win game, but a pretty big one nonetheless. Lamelo ball, get the inbound, kick it down to Cedric. I wanted to shoot it, it didn't let me until then. We're going to win 99-114 as your final score. Final box score. Jalen Brown gave his best efforts. Had 25 on the night. Okay shooting from the field. Lonzo Ball who didn't even play that fourth quarter. He played only six minutes. Uh, 18 points, three rebounds, three assists. Efficient shooting. Only 24 minutes though. That can't be happening. Um, Patrick Williams had 16 points. Played very well. Austin Reeves 12 off the bench. But not any contributors. From anyone else in that starting lineup. For the Hornets. LaMelo Ball. 51 points. 3 rebounds. 9 assists. On 21 for 26 shooting. Didn't miss a 3. Only missed 5 shots on the night. Cedric with 38 points. 8 rebounds. 20 assists. And 6 steals. Guy shooting back up. Efficient on the night. Shot above 50% from the field. And 3 and then Aiton gave us a nice double-double. With If we're going to have this type of contribution, no one else even scoring over six, we needed a night where LaMelo and Cedric just went nuclear like that. Unbelievable game for LaMelo. We needed it. That's going to be for me. GG.